For Action News, I'm Anna Samovska. This year, millions of women will have access to a new 3D mammography device that scientists say can increase detection rates for breast cancer and decrease those false alarms at the same time. Unlike a regular mammogram, the tomosynthesis moves around the breast and takes many x-rays at different angles. It was approved in 2011. More than 38 million mammograms are performed each year right here in the U.S., and their efficacy has been overstated. And according to a new study, the 3D test could decrease those nerve-wracking false alarms and improve detection results altogether. Now, the equipment is pricey and it's not widely available yet, but Aksha's Dr. Gilbert Ross says its potential in the fight against breast cancer is exciting. Women have been told for decades to get their annual mammograms, and of course over the last few years we've learned more and more that regular screening mammograms often find things that would never have harmed the woman and require yet further investigation with biopsies and even surgeries. So there's been a lot of uh, studies and a lot of uh, uh, opinion pieces written by learned experts saying that we're doing too many mammograms and even the United States Preventive Services Task Force recommended that women uh, uh, under under 50 uh, get mammograms every two years not every one year and, and that they uh, stopped getting them uh, at age 75 or thereabouts because the yield was uh, of, of false positives was higher than the yield of actually finding potentially dangerous breast cancers. Now we we see this study, which analyzed retrospectively over 450,000 records, and they found that those who had the added 3D tomogram mammogram to the, added onto the regular mammogram had a 28% a increased yield of, of potentially dangerous breast cancers, and yet they did not find an increased uh, uh, detection of uh, incidentalomas, we call them. That is, uh, abnormalities that required further uh, uh, diagnosis and treatment. In fact, the, uh, the recall rate for uh, findings that turned out to be false positives was significantly reduced by 16 percent. So this is a real win-win. If this technology actually detects breast cancers that could harm a woman earlier and yet lead to fewer uh, false positives, it will actually save money for the healthcare system in the long run. So this is a, a really a, a, a positive step uh, and uh, the, the authors uh, should be uh, congratulated for doing this. Uh, as I say that, I would like to point out that the authors, at least several of them, also have a uh, disclosed a relationship with a company that manufactures the 3D tomographic equipment that does not mean to cast dispersions on the validity of the study. But, you know, in the era of full disclosure, everybody wants to know everything about uh, potential financial conflicts of interest. So I think the study is a good one, and I'm looking forward to uh, further such studies and hope that the results will bear uh, the same results as the, this study does. To read more on this story and others, you can head to our website, aksha.org, that's acsh.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Aksha, I'm Anna Samovska.